life, baby. You. Oops. <laughs> All right, I'm still here. I hit the button. I thought I exited it out of everything. All right, all right, all right. Waiting for some people to show up. Yo, Tony, what's up? Pick me, Jamie Murray. How you doing? Steven, what's up, buddy? Cowboys. Hui, man. Super excited. What's up, Cammy? Thomas, how's it going? Philip, come on, make my mind. <laughs> What's up, Gino E? John, sports fan, Marty Belmonte. What's going on, guys? It's Friday night. Dora, how's it going? We're moving on up. Ooh, grunt style just dropped. <laughs> Notifications. So, Thomas, Jason. Dora the Explorer. John George, just checking in from Montana. Is that what that says? I don't know. I mean, yeah, Montana. I had to make the screen bigger. Hey, it's mine and James's birthday month. Yes, it is. What's up? Hello, Craig. Craig made it. Craig made it. That's good. Oh, man. It's been a week. You're going hunting? I wish I could go hunting. I did have a fantastic birthday, man. I actually had probably about the best one I've had in a few years, man. I mean, it was nothing special. I mean, it was just, uh, <laughs> first thing, I did number one on my to-do list. Um, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go by Jay's work. So <laughs> I went to Jay's work. I went and washed my truck first. I went by Jay's work and um, I walked in and everybody was gone for lunch or whatever. And uh, I was just like, I went in there. I sat down and he looked at me. He was like, he was like, well, he's like, have you had lunch yet? And I was like, I was like, why do you think I came here? I came so you can take me and take me to lunch. It's my damn birthday. So, had a little fun with that. <laughs> he he was like, "Oh damn, yeah, I got a free lunch out of it." I was pretty excited. Uh, after that, I went by Bass Pro Shop and just walked the aisles, man, uh, seeing if there was anything there that I didn't have or that I needed. Uh, There's a lot of stuff there that I wanted, but it is what it is. Jay did. Jay, Jay actually bought me. Uh, we went to Walk-Ons, which is kind of like a kind of like a Hooters, but not as whatever. Plus, they all look like little children these days. And I'm older. What's up, Nick? Thank you, Gino. I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I bought some little stuff from uh, Bass Pro. I bought some snake gators, which I'm pretty excited about. They look kind of cool. I'll probably do a video on them because I actually think the, they're really nice for me. It's hard for me because my calves are so big uh, to find good snake gators that are comfortable. And these seem pretty comfortable. And I hate snakes. So the last thing I want to do, and I don't want to wear a snake boots because snake boots are always so hot. But these, I think these are going to be good. Uh, what else I get? Got a carabiner. Uh, I got like a camouflage lightweight shirt. Getting ready for that first week of bow season. It's gonna be hot. All right, Jamie. That'll, that'll be interesting to see. Uh, hey, yo. what's doing in the dirty south? Oh, yeah. What's up, folks? South Mississippi, not a gentleman. <laughs> Welcome, not a gentleman. Hi, and happy birthday. Thank you, Alden. Appreciate it. Uh, 
Yeah, man. The the video with me and Whit last night, it was it was pretty funny. I came home and I was because I'd gotten him a birthday cake and I came home with my birthday cake and I was like, I think we could do like something here. And he was he's been weird, man. I don't know what's going on with Wit. Wit is Wit is something that I don't know. I took him to the vet like three weeks ago. Vet said everything was fine. He checked out, checked everything. Everything's good with him. But then last week, like Tuesday, he just stopped eating, stopped drinking. So I don't know if he's drinking and eating something else. I don't know. My dad's really bad about feeding my dog. So I don't know if my dad's feeding him like human food because he still eats his treats. Like he eats the treats. If I give him treats, he, he goes crazy for me. He wants the treats. And like if I have leftover food or something like that, he eats it. I mean, he just snacks it up. And I think that something switched in his head. Now all he wants is human food. So I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I, do I test him out and just let him starve? <laughs> He'll either starve or eat that food. I don't know. It's weird. It's got me worried. I mean, he's fine. I mean, y'all saw him last night. I mean, he's whatever, but I mean, he's, he's getting skinnier. I don't know. I'm not feeling good about it. He's got me worried. Cammy, I'll take care of you. All right. Yeah, the state gauge, I'm not worried about the morning dew going to the stand. I wear boots. I wear rubber boots or whatever. I got hunting boots. I'm not worried about the dew. I'm worried about snakes. I don't want no snakes. I got nothing. I got no love for them. Don't want them anywhere near me. And that's my biggest fear whenever I'm out there this time of year because it's so bushy and everything. You're walking through high grass and high weeds, and you're not always being able to see what you're where you're stepping. And it just makes me like very unsettled. Jay's always like laughing at me and getting irritated with me because I'm like seriously. And he's just, I'm just like, dude, I don't know if there's snakes down here. And he's just like, oh. <laughs> he just gets, he gets tired of me being scared of snakes. But you know what? I get bit one damn time. I'm going to be pissed. Yeah. I mean, I don't think he has a, a, a problem with appetite because he eats. Like if I, if I pull out the treat thing, he goes nuts and he will eat whatever. But, and I don't over treat him. So I don't, I mean, he gets a treat. Usually whenever I come home at the end of the day, I give him a little treat, but I don't know. He will eat. Yeah, I'm thinking I got to go and try and find something to put over the food. I even switched his dog food. Like, I was like, maybe he just don't like this dog food anymore. Maybe he just said, finally said, screw it, I'm not eating it anymore. <laughs> so I went and bought him the high dollar dog food, which I tried to get. I got him off the dog, high dollar dog food about a year or two ago. And then, uh, cause it was really expensive. Like it was like $60 for like, like a bag like this big. And I was just like, that's crazy. Whenever I can get a bag, yay big <laughs> for like $40 and it's pure one. I mean, it's like, and he loved it at first. I mean, and for the last year and a half, two years, he's been eating it like crazy. Yeah, dad feeds him bologna. I, ugh, he's no kid of mine. I wouldn't eat bologna anymore. Uh, I see one of the kid. My cat did the same thing. Yeah, I think he's just trying to test me. I think he's like, I, if I don't eat, he'll give me more human food. You don't get a rude awakening. I do. I I do put my leftovers in there. Like if I have anything left over, like some like bread or like even the rest of his birthday cake last night, I took it in here and I stuck it up in his food. So 
but not one. Da, 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 da. What's going on? Rattlesnakes are bad. This is yeah. The thing is, the rattlesnakes don't bother me because when we go out there, the rattlesnakes they take off. We see them, they leave. You know, the ones that scare me are like the little water moccasins, and there's like one little, it's like a little one, it's like red and got some different stuff in it, and it matches perfectly with like the fallen dead leaves and stuff. And I mean, we were standing maybe three foot, four foot away from it last year. And my buddy Chad walks up and he's like, hey, you see that snake right there? I was like, I looked over there, I about died. I went the other direction. And I've done walk by that snake no telling how many times. That's the ones that scare me. And it was definitely a poisonous snake. I don't remember what it was, but. I'm glad you liked that good old boy. I, I, that was a fun one to make, actually. It was fun to edit it too. I mean, it was it was actually about a 20 minute deal of us sitting there just kind of screwing around. But, uh, you know, he got kind of whiny and just kind of like wanting all the loving. And I was trying to be sweet to him and everything. So I had to, I cut a lot of it out because y'all <laughs> you don't want to just see me sitting there laying there loving on my dog. <clears throat> yeah, I'll probably take him to the vet if he don't change by Monday. But he's eating, I don't think it's the teeth thing because he's eating everything else. And the doctor checked his teeth. He told me that he had like a little bit of excess plaque on his teeth. So he told me that I needed to pay more attention to that. So that, but he checked his teeth. Like he rubbed all up in there and checking them. That wasn't a problem. I felt all over him. I stuck my fingers in his mouth. I've, I've done that too, you know, and it's just like looking for him to be like wincy or anything. But nothing bothers him. I mean, I've been, I don't know. I think it's just so hot, you know, which that worries me because the last time he got sick or the last time he get, started acting kind of weird like this, he was just majorly dehydrated. And they injected him with this thing that put like a big old water ball on his back. It made, it made him look like he had a, like a camel hump. And uh, <laughs> thanks, Joe Fish. Appreciate you. Two dollar make you holla. What? I holla for two dollar. Uh, but yeah, man. I think he might just be dehydrated. It's so hot. Maybe he just got too much. But last time he got really bad, like like slow walking, kind of stumbling. I don't want him to get to that point again. Thirty-five people. What is up, everybody? Thirty-five people, six likes. That's bullcrap. The first thing you should do when watching my video is hit the like button. When you come in, you should hit the like button. You like me enough to show up? Hit the like button. Thirty-six people. I should have thirty-six likes. Yeah, that vet, visit, that vet visit the last time when he got sick was pretty expensive. They gave me this stuff that was more like for his stomach or whatever, and I get, and I almost don't know if I did it because they gave me this stuff and it was for sensitive digestion, and they gave me like four cans of it. They are like, try it for a couple of days, See what happens. So I tried it the first day he ate it. The second day he ate like half of it. And he never came back to the rest of it. So I was like, all right. So the other day, pretty much like almost, I think it was, it was like a three or four days before he stopped eating. But I came in from the vet and I was like, well, I'm going to give him some of this stuff. It's the good stuff. You know, I gave it to him and he went to town on it. Ate about, three quarters of it and then he stopped and then next thing you know 
it's weird because I get kind of busy on the weekends and sometimes I may not even pay attention. I don't even remember if I fed him. I just, whenever I walk by the bowl of your food in it, I was like, okay, maybe I freaked him. I already fed him. <laughs> 41 folks. Sometimes I don't like the video the golf shit don't ever even get watched what frank thank you for the for the for the birthday wish on my my facebook page i appreciate you calling me a dipshit so all my friends can see it <laughs> that was fun oh oh yeah there's a stand on our hunting lease and I crawled up in there one time and I just saw a snake shed, like the skin, the shedded skin of a snake. And that was about three years ago. And I've never set that stand since just because I saw a snake skin in it one time. I'm like, I don't even want to go. Hey, zombie hunter. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. You want to talk about something that's fun? Try walking out there in the dang middle of the night in the pitch black. That was that. That's fun because you don't know where you're stepping. Yeah, that's what we have. Those uh, king rattlers, what something like that. Timber rattlers. We have timber rattlers too, John. So. Lincoln, I don't know, man. He's not drinking much, but I, that's not to say that dad fills up a thing outside. He could just be drinking out of the bowl outside. So dad all the time, he just goes out there and he sticks the water hose over the fence off the front porch. We got a little thing there for watering the grass out front. So dad'll just stick a hose over there and fill up his outside bowl. So he might just be drinking out there and not drinking up here. Somebody said they were going hunting this weekend, and I was ticked off. I was like, <laughs> like man, I got to wait another m month, month and 10 days, something like that, month and eight days. Yeah, Craig, I wouldn't do that. <laughs> That'd be a waste of a nice skin belt. <laughs> Because I'll probably, I'll probably mail it back to you. All right. We're just sitting here talking, Michael, Stan. Uh, we're just uh, just going over some stuff, giving some people time to show up, uh, giving some other people that are just sitting there watching a chance to like the video. Like and share, people. Like and share. We got some good stuff coming up, man. Uh, of course, I tell y'all every time, uh, 5,000 subscribers, I'm giving away a whole month of boxes, a whole month of boxes. It's pretty awesome. It froze. Am I froze? Just you fishy. <laughs> All right. So we're looking at 39 of y'all right now. Uh, go ahead, any of y'all, if you have not commented on that last Battle Box video, um, just keep in mind, don't, you know, you don't have to go comment again. You're only going to get one entry per per person. It's only going to give you, it picks all the unique comments. So if you comment 10 times, you're not getting 10 entries. You only get one entry. <sighs> Uh, <laughs> let's see, to do, let's see, we still have to fuck with Jay, be uncomfortable, we got the giveaway, we're going to knock that off today, the 360 vids, I'm just being lazy, I mean, seriously, I'm going to have to learn how to do them, so it, it's more of a fact of not having time and not having the mental acuity because it's been so hot during the day that I just don't have a lot of energy at night to think. So I just haven't had time to learn anything. 
Hunters Extravaganza already did that. I've got a couple more videos from the Hunters Extravaganza that I need to post up, and those should be this weekend. I'll have those up. And six, eat a salad. <laughs> and then I still gotta take uh, Cody to the gotta take Cody to a movie on September the sixth. She wants me to go see it with her. I guess her boyfriend, hubby, whatever you want to call him. He he don't like scary movies, I guess. So I have to be the one to go with him. I've ate more salad than I care to remember or think about. It's, it, it's, my sister just left. I told her, I was, I was like, I'm going to go to Subway and get me something. She's like, it's Friday night. You should have something. I was like, she's like, much Subway and Nukes salads you eat, you're going to turn into a sandwich or a salad. I'm like, probably. Yeah, Kenny, I've already saw that. <laughs> I don't see any situation where I need a blue, uh, a blue flashlight. So I think I'm good on that. Um, we'll see what else they're offering though. I don't know. There's a, there's one thing that I do want, but I don't know. No, Rigo, we haven't done it yet. Shit's froze up. Yeah, like and share, everybody. Like and share, like and share. Okay. I am going to go over and get my – well, I gotta, I'm got. i going to do it on my phone. That's right. Do it on my phone. That way you all can see that it's legit. We actually get a lot of comments this this month. I appreciate that. That's good stuff. It blew up. Everybody wants that dang knife. We got some good stuff to talk about tonight too. I love this one. I... Okay. I think yeah, we're over 118 comments. That's a lot. We'll see how many unique ones it is here in a minute, but let's see, copy the link. Go over here. And random comment generator. What do we have? We had 52 last month. We had 52, so unique comments. We have 103 unique comments. I am, that makes me super happy. That makes me very, very happy. Uh, I mean, that, that shows that y'all are appreciating, y'all are liking what's going on, liking what we're doing. That's good. 103 unique comments. That's pretty impressive. Pretty excited about that. Uh, you do not have to be present to win. No. We might do that on the uh, on the five thousand subscriber giveaway. I think I'm gonna make that one mandatory. I just want to see how many people I can get to be there because <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of crap. I mean, I expect it to be. And y'all are gonna y'all are gonna like it now. I mean, it just went. It just went even to another level, and we're going to talk about that after we do the little giveaway. But um, 10 boxes at an average of – just average them out at $200. Because some of them are three, some of them are, you know, 100 whatever. So just average it out to be $300 or $200. So that's two grand. Two grand and stuff you're just going to get. I mean, I'm just saying, this would be a perfect time to start, like, you know, telling everybody, hey, check out my buddy James, video addict on YouTube. Let's 
Well, thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that immensely. You have no idea. And I don't blame you. I don't blame anybody because I, I, I got numbers. Like, you see, you got numbers that I see, like how many thousands of views I have a month. And it's a lot. I'm like in the upper to late 20s. Like, so anywhere from 26 to 30,000 people are watching me every month. So I, I know I have that. But then I have 3,500 subscribers. It's like, even if 36,000 views or 30,000 views, say, say 25,000 views, 25,000 views watching me on an average of five minutes. And if you can watch me for five minutes, that's pretty impressive. Since how like the like overall YouTube average is like three point whatever minutes. So I feel very confident about that. That's what makes me feel good whenever people give me shit about talking. It's like, listen, people are listening to me talk more than anybody else. So obviously they, you know, they enjoy what I'm saying. So I made a little funny video just making fun of them, whatever. But it is what it is. Just to kind of show y'all how how boring it could be. I mean, that's I mean, you all got it. You all know it was so boring. It was awful. Even people that have never commented before were just like, dude, that was awful. <laughs> it's so bad. I know. I mean, I was watching one the other day and I was just like, Dude, I'm falling asleep. I literally like closed my eyes and like, I was like, holy crap. I was like, you are boring me to sleep. That's how bad it was. All right, let's see. Let me catch up with some comments here. Uh, <laughs> I can't control the giveaway. If you want to bribe somebody, go bribe random comment generator. You're going to pick a winner for the 5,000 or separate winners. Uh, I think I'm going to take a poll on it. I don't, I think I'm going to take a poll on whether I need to do one winner gets all the boxes or if I just do one of every box, 10 different winners kind of thing. I don't know what I'm doing yet. Uh, I thought about it both ways, but I like the idea of giving 10 different winners. That's on how the poll goes. I'm going to do a poll, so I'll put it up on Facebook or whatever, or I'll put it up on here. I think I can do a poll on here. And you guys can vote and tell me what you what you would rather see. Would you rather be an all or nothing? Because at that point, it becomes, you know, like a one in a hundred, rather like tonight, it's a bit like a one out of a hundred. Or 10 out of 100 chance. You know, I don't know. <clears throat> I just know that I'm giving away a whole month's worth of boxes. I just don't know how I'm going to do it. Yeah. Everybody seems to like 10 winners. So that seems to probably be what it'll probably end up being. But I'm still going to do a poll. You are blurry. Oh, man. Let me go see something. I might have, let me see something, man. Talk amongst yourselves. So I have these little Xfinity X5 pod things that are supposed to boost signal. But honestly, I don't think they work worth a damn. But we'll see. I'll plug it in over here and see if it'll boost my signal in here. <clears throat> it'll take it a minute to do its thing. But, uh, okay. So who loves my hooey man at? Cowboys, look at it. It's a little hooey man. The cowboy, <laughs> man, I love this thing. I got this for my birthday. My baby sister 
Savannah got it for me. Hui is a brand that I saw at uh, Bucky's, that truck stop I go to and, and on my way to Dallas all the time. And I saw it there and I was like, dude, that'd be really cool if they had it in cowboy colors because they never had it in cowboy colors. And then like a week and a half, two weeks ago, I saw it and I got an email saying new gear. And I was like, well, let me see what they got. So <laughs> I clicked on it. And I got the, I saw this pullover, which is a, it's like an all white cowboy pullover. It's freaking awesome. And I got that for my birthday too. But uh, won't be able to eat nachos at the game for sure. But they, and then all of a sudden I scrolled down and I saw this and I instantly was going crazy for it. And then I was like, my sister's been asking me what do I want for my birthday. And I was like, okay. So I sent my pull, the pullover in this hat. And that's what her and my dad got me for my birthday. So I'm pretty excited about it. I love it. It's freaking bad to the bone. It's super comfortable too. And it fits perfect. It was meant for me. <laughs> He's out of the room. Thanks, Michael. Appreciate that. How about 10 for the win? But I think that's a good idea. If we do 10 winners, uh, uh, we could do it. Like you pick which one you want, but it's going to be a blind pick. I'm not going to show what's in every box. It's just going to be whatever that is. Like if you want a hunt ball box, you pick, I want the hunt ball. I'm not going to show what's in each one. So, you know, because you're going to have some that are going to be, who knows? Humboldt might have a killer high value thing, and it's gonna be it's gonna be one of those. I don't think that. I don't know. I'm working on it. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh Elliot holding out, man. I don't really care honored lately with them. Uh, it's kind of with, with that other guy doing good the other day, not that he's as good as Elliot cause he's not, but it kind of makes kind of gives them a reason to not do it. And that's what worries me. They could just say, hell, we'll, we'll take the first couple games on and just see what happens because this guy did pretty good that i don't like that just because somebody did good in one game whatever or two if he does good again in this game this weekend so two preseason games it's like dude it's not no it's not to me that's not saying this guy's our guy or we're willing to take a risk especially on new york and washington in the first three games I think, or four games. So if they go into those two games and they lose those two, we're done. Season's over. We cannot recover from that. Not in the NFC East. So I think Dak will probably get 32-33. I think he'll get 32-5-33. Because he wants more than Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz got like 32-whatever. So – I think he's going to get like 32, 5 plus 33, maybe as high as 34, but I, I don't think so. I don't even know how much Zeke's asking for. I, I keep trying to look to find out, but nobody talks about what he's asking for. Everybody talks about what Dak's asking for, but nobody talks about what Zeke wants. They just said he wants more than what's his face. Uh, the guy out in the Rams. Gallant money. Is it Gallant? I think it's Gallant. There you go, Ted. I like that. Uh, thanks, DW Strange. Appreciate you. Just picking it random. How much? Da -da. 
Cowboys Super Bowl. Not without Dak and Zeke. That's going to be there. It's just if Zeke comes back and we win, it's going to cost more than 32, 33 <laughs> next year. I try to get him locked in. I try and get him locked in for the uh, for the whatever. Oh God, Raggedy B, thank you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> thank you, Jason. Appreciate you. Girly, that's what it, that's what it is. That's what I got you here for, Craig. You, Jason, and Joe Fish. That's what y'all are responding. Y'all are my henchmen. <laughs> that's why I made y'all moderators. Y'all can take care of the small stuff. Y'all take care of my lightweight. What's up, Curtis? Uh Yeah, the, the problem is is it has to get done now. It has to get done now. You're either going to put together a Super Bowl team for the next two years or, you know, or go, you know, or it's just going to go just keep on like it's been doing for the last 25. I can't, I can't handle that. <laughs> Chicago December the 5th what's the Chicago December the 5th <laughs> Jay is at home with his wife he has to spend some quality time with the fam used wives <laughs> I like it Survival and hunting, you need to go to the Battle Box video that I just did the other day, and you need to tell me why you want to win this Battle Box. I want this Battle Box because whatever you want to put down as your reason. Um, the Battle Box video I'm talking about is the Mission 54. Just go back to that video, comment on it, tell me why you want that battle box, and you could be a winner. <laughs> Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate it. Yes, Jay did finish the floors. I got to go over there and do kind of like a follow-up video, and then I'm going to kind of show the whole demo we did and then tie in with what it looks like now. Actually, it's really good. Y'all got me talking about football. It's not my fault. <laughs> All right, DW, we're going to get into the real and still, too. Real, real, still to real, we're going to get into that. I got a list up here of, thing, of topics. I've got I've got topics right there. <clears throat> I have to I'm not retracting anything that I said. The way I posted my video about still the real, I feel that way about what I got. So they called me. All right. That's what I'm gonna say right now. They called me. We talked. Got info. We're gonna we're gonna talk about that here in a little bit. Um, right now, I think we're good. I gave everybody 40 minutes to get in here. Um, sometimes I'm late too, so I always like to give people plenty of time just to be here. All right, so let me get back to where I was. Oh, there it is. All right, so we had 103. Let's see how many we got now. 
105. 105 unique comments. I, again, I am so impressed with that. That makes me feel really good. Makes me feel good. Yeah. I got to turn off the damn notifications or something. I'm getting pictures of deer right now. All right. For the battle box right here that includes this bad boy right here, the Mantis uh, Knives Gearhead. I'm telling you guys, I've showed this to people, and they're always the same way. They're like, what? And then they start playing with it, and they're like, it's actually pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, like knife guys, like guys that I know that are like bigger knife guys than me. So everything here, including the poop wipes, unused, are available for you to win. All right. I gave you all like two more minutes. So I'm going to refresh. Now it's 107. Okay. Everybody, everybody in? Okay. This is your last chance in 10, 9, Eight seven six five four three two one, and go. One hundred seven. All right, there's your there's your comments. <laughs> and wait, let me just make sure. Yeah. So it's, why is it giving me a trigger? See, stealth cam giving me updates. <laughs> All right, starting. Here we go. Wow. Winner. Who is that? Theory Solzer. I do not know who that is. Ah, they can't win. No winner. This is only good in the United States, guys. I wish I can't send to Switzerland. I can't. I just can't do it. Sorry. But thanks for watching. Please continue to watch. I, I'm sorry. It, it hurts my feelings whenever you get picked and then you still can't win. Oh, my God. It makes me so sad. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try this again. Okay. God, it stops popping up. Crap. All right. Ready? And I'm getting more pop ups. Okay. Here we go. Uh, Jacob Sayers. I want this battle box because I've always wanted to get battle box but can't afford to get. I would be so honored to be the one who receives this giveaway. Jacob Sayers. Jacob Zayers, you here? Nicholas, Nicholas Fedorov, please shout out me. <laughs> shout out me. Shout at me. I don't know. Congrats, Jacob. Uh, I'll see if I can message you. A lot of the times these guys don't... If you don't have a channel, then you don't have a way to, you don't have the messaging set up for people to whatever. So hopefully he picks it up. If he doesn't watch this video and he doesn't see that he won, then we'll give it away again. We'll do another live feed. He's got seven days to figure it out though. Because I think I'm gonna have another live feed next week. I think. <laughs> that one if i do another if i do a redo on him then you we can we might do it i don't know i don't know no probably not because i already set the rules for this one i can't change the rules halfway through it a gun dog box i've looked into i've done gun dog boxes before um Mm. 
Guys, I appreciate y'all, man. I, I really do. I appreciate y'all keeping it going, man. I mean, I enjoyed doing it. And I, you know, I've said it many times. I, I, I am amazed every day that people want to talk to me. And whenever I don't post videos, people are like, what are you doing? Why, why, why are you making a video? What's going on? <laughs> Joe Fish, you're out. Gonna get on the road later, minions. Oh, Niagara Falls. All right, Joe Fish, later, brother. Um, all right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about some stuff, all right? And we will go from there. Uh, I currently have 10 boxes. Currently, I have 10 subscription boxes that I get. And I constantly have people asking me to review items, you know, they're usually Chinese stuff, you know, but some cool stuff. So I may start doing a couple little things. Some of them, they want me to do stuff that don't relate to my channel. So I'm not going to do it. But like I got offered like a dry bag the other day that has like a speaker built into it and a solar panel on it. But it seems like a lot of crap that can break and possibly cause it to not. But I'll put it through a test and I'll see what I like about it. See what I don't. Uh, so that's one of the things I want to talk about. You could be seeing some weird stuff. So if you do, just kind of know. It's more to fill the holes between unboxings. All right. Next thing. Okay. Upon everybody's pressure, I have signed up for Poor Man's Prepare. It's okay. Don't everybody collapse at once. Uh, <laughs> it's funny that you say that, Kenny, because uh, I literally have about six of them. Uh, I do have one here, bam, that I was thinking if we had enough people show up tonight that we might give away. I said it in the video. We need lots of people to show up. But um, so. I will be getting the next poor man's preparing. Uh, I I have nothing against poor man's preparing. I think that he is doing good. The only reason I haven't subscribed to him is because I feel like I already have everything that he's been sending. Is it all good stuff? Yes. Mine has been like one from this box, one from that box, one from this box. I've got all the good stuff. You know, I've got a lot of good stuff. That's why it's hard for me to get just those blow away items for me personally, you know. So everything that he's been sending, I already have or I have something better. I don't feel like it would benefit me. So that's why I've mainly been reluctant. You know, uh, he sent that Bob, that Topps Bob knife the other day. I've already got that knife. You know, I mean, I've got lots of Topps knives. I got Knives that I can't ever get to. So, I mean, really, that's just another knife for me to throw in a drawer. That's why I haven't really signed up for it. Uh, I would be happy to do it, do the reviews for him. And then, I mean, I'll send him the stuff back if he wanted to. But, you know, I understand whenever you're doing a small business like him and he's probably got real thin margins and he's trying to, He's trying to make something, and I understand that. And I, and I, and I, you know, I hope I can help him with the few boxes that I'll be able to subscribe to. I don't know how many months I'm going to be able to do it, but one of the things that happened was the steel to reel. Everybody watched that video. It's kind of it was bad. Not the items. I don't want anybody to think about. I don't want anybody to think that I was bad mouthing the items. Now, they were good items, but there wasn't enough of them. I think we all agreed on that. The value was my problem. And if you order that box and then you didn't like one item, you're probably going to be upset. If you didn't like two items, you're going to be furious. That's the way I looked at that. 
Uh, Jacob, somebody, what was the name? Welcome to the show, Caddy. Jacob Sayers won the uh, Battle Box. So, <clears throat> yeah. They emailed me. And now I said that I thought that they were one of those companies that just signed up to create a box and they just picked from a list. Evidently, this was not true, or so I was told. Uh, I talked with someone there. He called me. He was like their operations manager. And he called me or he emailed me, asked me if we could talk. And I said, sure. And I guess they were pretty pissed at me, <laughs> which I understand. But don't be pissed at me. You know, be pissed that you got a bad review. I understand that. But you can't be pissed at me. I didn't do it. Everybody knows. I just told the guys, like, they can't be pissed at me. Why, why would you be mad at me whenever you could have just went out and looked at every subscription box out there? If you don't have this much over value, people are going to be pissed. There's just no way around it. No way around it. <clears throat> so that's where I was, my problem was. And what's funny is, like, I didn't get that box for free. I paid for it, and they refunded my money, 100%. They refunded my money that I spent on the box. I'd already sent that box back. He didn't even ask me to send that box back, but I'd already sent it back like the day before, so he hadn't even received it. He, he didn't know that I sent it back, so I found that really cool. He was basically expecting me to be able to keep the box, but I'd already mailed it back. Uh, and then... He refunded me for the charge that I already made for the next month because I told you I was going to let it go. I was going to let it just go on through. But, um, you know, we had a good conversation, and I told him how I felt. And he said that he understands and that the problem is is they're a new box. Them being a new box, they don't have the subscribers to get the deals that other boxes are getting. And I told him, I was like, that's your first problem. <laughs> you got to stop trying to get what everybody else is getting. There's enough of those. There is enough battle boxes and barrel and blades and tack packs out there. You need to do something different. You don't need to be sending out the same items as them. You know, like the off grids battle axe. That was sent out a year and a half ago. That is such an old product. You got to find that new stuff. So I went and I watched their new Ready Man big $399 box and, or $329 box, whatever it is. And it was better. It was way better than the first one I saw. It had pretty much everything that I got in this box. It had in that box plus a whole lot more. Uh, I think they were saying it was like 600 something dollar value. Even say if it was a $500 value, you're, you're winning probably that box. That's an expensive box. It's a hard box to sell. And I'm going to be unboxing that for them. They're sending that to me. Okay. I'm probably going to do that as a giveaway. All right, because it's it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna because I think you said the last box they sent out, it was like seventy dollars to ship that thing. It was a big box. <laughs> so whoever wins that, we, we we might have to work something out on the shipping. Um, no, nah, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see where I'm at. <laughs> but I know there we've had we had good conversation, and I feel like. He got where I was coming from, and then he sent me a few images of some things coming, and I'm very impressed, okay? I don't know when they're coming. I know the one item he sent me, he, he, he messaged me today, and he was like, that item, you know, it's going to be pressed to the next box. So I don't know. But it's also a $329 box. I don't know who – I know a lot of you guys, you're – 
probably just like me. I mean, I can't afford to pay it. It's a quarterly box. So really, if you figured it up four months, you get like all that stuff in one box, you pay three twenty nine, or you spend $400 if you did a hundred dollar box a month. So it's kind of one of those things. It's like, I don't know. To me, I'm, I'm thinking that's why I'm saying I might give it away because it's just like, if I got a box that size, I have nowhere to put it. <laughs> those, those, those rooms are full. I mean, it's tough. Uh, let's see. I'm mean, just doing real. Just can't afford the Elite Explorer. Yeah, the Elite Explorer. That's what I'm saying. That's what they're sending me. Uh, they're going to send me the Elite Explorer to review. And um, I told him, he's like, the owners want to know if you'd be willing to review our boxes in the future. And I was like, man, I'm happy to do, but it's going to be an honest review. I was like, you seen how I reviewed the last box? I was like, I'm going to do the same thing. I was like, because my people know, my people will know if I'm lying because you guys can add the value up just as easy as I can. You know, I didn't do anything special. I went out there and I went to the website and I took the highest MSRP and it barely gave you $15 in added value. So my people aren't stupid. And if I'm going I'm to tell it the way it is. And he said he was okay with that. So it may be a one and done thing, but we're going to do it. Uh, I think it's going to be okay. I think... I liked the second box that Ready Man un unboxed. I mean, they had a tent. They had freaking solar showers in there. They had like a you, – you got everything that you needed to go on a camping trip. You wouldn't need anything else. Uh, sleeping bags. I mean, you got a lot of stuff. You got like a dome tent, all this stuff. If you all want to, you can go on the Ready Man YouTube page and you can check it out. Uh, the most recent still to reel. It was a big box. It, he, no offense against the Ready Man guy, he might have just had a rough day, but he's the one that was putting me to sleep. <laughs> I mean, he, he really was putting me to sleep. Yeah, everybody, Craig, everybody is willing to help me with my clutter, my clutter issue. Yeah, club tech, don't even think about it. If there's if if anybody here, man, anybody here orders club tag, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna ban you from the channel <laughs> just for, just for being stupid. <laughs> that was just a, it's just like okay, you're too stupid to watch at this point because I've said it enough. There's a video of me telling everyone do not. <laughs> so at this point, if you do it, you're you're banned. Primal Urge, I have not looked at. Is that a food one? I feel like that's a food box. Monthly Knife Club. Monthly Knife Club. I want to get in on that, but I, it's just, I don't know. Monthly Knife Club is on my list. I went from still to real. And now since they're going to send me the box for free and they refunded my money, I got poor man's preparing. <laughs> since they gave me that my money back, I got poor man's preparing. So we're going to try poor man's preparing for at least a month, probably at least two months. And if after that, I may go, I may go ahead and do the monthly knife club. Now, make it rain knives, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not. If I want, if I want a meat box, I will just go get with what's his name. Uh, I, the the our jerky guy. I, what's his dang name? Who knows him? What's his name? I just drew a blank. Uh. Anyway, he's one of the subscribers. He sent he sent me some uh, some jerky and stuff from his. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go check it out. I, I haven't really heard of the primal primal box, but so there we go. We still the real. I'm pretty excited. I mean, first off, it's a lot of stuff, and like I said, I think I'm gonna give it away, um, or most of it. <laughs> it depends. If there's something really cool in there, I might want it. All right. Next up, just I'm just going up my list. Short part four, those of you, if anybody here likes golf, it's really funny. The short part four box reviews get me better response than any other. Short part four gives me more response than any of my other videos. I don't understand how it happens. It just does. Like not as far as like comments and stuff, but as far as like views and like them using my code and everything. And the code don't really help me do anything. It's going to help me get discounted rates whenever my whenever my account renews. So, like, I got a certain rate through the end of this year, and then they said they would reevaluate it. So, at the at the point I'm going, I should be able to get like a full year of boxes for free next year. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just saying, I get a really good response from that. People use that discount code like nobody's business. Uh, but that's a fun box. Tack pack. Everybody saw I went back to tack pack. Uh, I knew one of the items in there. I I kind of deducted what one of the items was. Got it. I was impressed with the box. I thought it was great. Then they told me that they're going to send me another wearable <laughs> item this month. So we'll check on that whenever that comes in. See you, Wendell. Appreciate you coming, man. The Knickers website? Huh? Oh, okay. I, I understand that, Cammy, but this is what they want me to do. They want me to review the big one oh my God. but you can kind of tell i'm gonna see what I, i'll talk to him tomorrow and just be like when you send me that box can you send me what's in the monthly box like just like the the list i don't know i i just from what i saw in the box the other day a lot of stuff that i got was in that box the big one. All right, so tag pack. If they send me another wearable item, we're gonna have to be. Uh, we're gonna have to do some woosa moment. Hey, honest Johnny, I appreciate you. <laughs> I don't I I understand boxes. I, I really do. And I told that guy from Still to Real, I was like, dude, listen. I was like, I understand what you gotta do. I understand how it works. I was like, I I literally unbox more than any other unboxer in this kind of stuff does anywhere on YouTube. You know, I was like, you can look at my it depends on how you look at it. If you look at me and you look at my subscriber, you know, you ain't seeing nothing. You're not seeing my interaction and my people that watch these videos. I mean, because there's a lot of them. But, I mean, nobody else unboxes as many as I do. Nobody. Dot P has like, doesn't he have like 100,000 people already? 60,000, something like that? And Dynamic Prepper. He has a crap ton too, but all of them, I unbox more than all, both of those guys. And I can't seem to get the subscriber count up. I don't understand why that is. Maybe, maybe I am kind of annoying to listen to. I don't know, but that's kind of, I, I, 
I know what I'm talking about whenever it comes to these things. And these boxes, they have their cash grab months. I understand it. They're trying to skim by with as little money out as they can. And if they can get four of these a year, they're golden. You know, I mean, they can do their whole year on four boxes and then cut their cut the, the other boxes and give you good stuff. And this was one of those. I thought that they did really, really well. on sent very useful stuff. Very happy about it. Um, barrel and play. Enough said. Uh, that Victoronics or whatever the hell, however the hell you say it, I freaking love that knife. It's actually in my hunting bag right now because I'm keeping that with me at all times. I've never had an official Swiss Army knife. And that one is my first one, so I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, battle box. You know what? A lot of people aren't liking it because it's not stuff you're going to use right now. It's not stuff you're going to go out and use tomorrow. You know. But if you look at it as the possibility down the road of this thing being that important for you uh, to survive, I mean. You get into a bind, you know you're going to be in a place without water, and it's like, hey, something's coming in. It's going to, it's going to knock out all this. You can go fill up your tub with this thing, and it's not just standing water. You can keep it closed up and without debris in it. I mean, dude, that's huge. I mean, that's really, really big to have that kind of water available to keep you alive for days. You know, till you can get help or, you know, or the services come back on. It's a big deal. The suture kit, while extremely questionable because you can practice, as Doc P said, he don't really like just the little training thing like that because you shouldn't think that you, that you know what you're doing because there's a lot more to it. I mean, there's like all the layers of skin. You go too deep, you can do some damage. You really need to have training, and I understand that. But if you're out in the wilderness, I'd rather have a little bit of knowledge to close up an open cut than not have any. So I like that little suture kit, but I get what I'm talking about too. So that was cool. The the knife, knife of the month, I got to say I get that it's a Cure in 1776 exclusive, but you took a, a knife that's $60 and you made it a $100 knife by putting a name on it. So I don't know. <laughs> it's a cool knife. I like it. I, I You know, it, it, it is what it is. Uh, I do not get Loot Crate anymore. Uh, I heard that they went out of business. First person that messaged me was Jason from Bowhunter Boss Club. He keeps up with all that stuff. He he's amazed by them guys. He wants to be those guys that can have like fifty thousand subscribers or a hundred thousand subscribers, whatever they had. Uh, man, what I think that they did, I, I think they went. I think they borrowed a bunch of money to be able to put really cool things in. Because whenever I started, Loot Crate used to send, and it was just like, holy crap, twenty bucks a month, and I get twenty bucks a month, and I was getting this stuff. Well, then they redid their little structure and then it became 20, I think it was 24, 25. And then they restructured again. It was like 30. So they were trying to get people and they got you, but they took a lot of debt. And then they tried to up their prices. People didn't so much like it. This is geeky little, I mean, this is not, this is stuff you sit in front of your TV like I do in there, you know. You have to, they just, you know, they just, they went too far. And I think they had to take out too much money because everybody thought 20 bucks, this is a steal at 20 bucks. I think they took out too much money to keep the, to get all that upfront stuff. And then whenever their value started dropping and they started sending us some really chanky stuff, that's whenever I got out. And I apparently so did a lot of people. And then they could not get the money to pay back their debt. So, you know, 
was great at first. Everybody that got in early on that, you did good. <laughs> I don't even know if they were like any way you can invest in them or anything, but. I don't think Battle Box is slipping, Cammy. I think that they are sending more more thought more thoughtful kind of stuff that people aren't really thinking about. Now, I do think it's a little iffy. I do think it's kind of sucks and they've really dropped their value down. Uh, I think the last one, what was it, like two hundred and something, two hundred and thirty dollars, something like that. Whenever we were getting three thirty to four hundred at certain times, yeah, I can understand canceling the battle box, you know, because of of this box. I think that they're probably going to have a few cancellations because. Like I said, it's really a specific box, and it's not something that you can go use tomorrow. It's not meant for that. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. I don't – I think that the value was there, and that's what I'm kind of basing everything off on right now. And I'm not blowing smoke up their ass. I, I agree that the value has dropped significantly, and that sucks. And I can't really say anything other than that. I looked for a bourbon of the month box and I tried one, but it wasn't legit. It was like you could get little sample tubes of whatever liquors you chose as your favorite. They'd send you little samples of whiskey from different places, but they, it was a thing. Basically you paid to be a member to get, discounts on big bottles and they were like really expensive bottles <laughs> so basically you got samples every month or so uh, I, I think I saw that knife was that that knife that like, did some weird stuff and like transformed into eating utensils. I don't know about that either. And I think they hurt themselves by releasing that. Maybe. I don't know. They always did they usually release the 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 uh, hints after the renew date. I can't do a Karen box, an aisle box, or a nomadic box anymore, man. Them suckers, they they don't just have cash grab boxes. They have like half the year cash grab boxes. I've been burnt by them too many times. I can't do it. What's up, Ben? No. I mean, backpack is the closest thing you've got right now, but they're really only for... AR stuff, really. Oh, I'm so done with Amazon pricing. <sighs> People tell me all the time, oh, you should sell some of your stuff. Yeah, I tried that this past week. And it doesn't matter what you list it for, they're still not happy. It's like, oh, well, you can get that here. They find obscure places online that are selling something for – a ridiculous price and they expect me to just not match that they want me lower than that and I'm like it'll sit on the damn shelf in there before I sell it for that <laughs> I mean I would I would rather sit here and put it in a bowl and set the bitch on fire than to sell it to you for that because it's worth more just an entertainment of me burning it than for me to sell it to you for the price that you're trying to get. <laughs> it really annoyed me this week. Oh, Hey, they send me pictures, screenshots. Hey, you know it's this price, right? How much do you really want? I'm like, I'm not Amazon. I'm not ALS.com. I'm not whatever the hell little website you found. 
go ahead and order from them. And whenever you don't get what you ordered or you don't ever get anything, then you can come back and talk to me. I understand that MTV. I think they need to go back to not. I think, I don't know, man. I, I hate to say anything negative about them, but I mean, they did, they're doing it to themselves. It's not me. I'm, I mean, the guys are great. I just, I don't know if they know like uh, certain things may not be very favorable. And then, you know, they kind of, they tell you early. So you have a couple of weeks to get used to the idea. Like, this is what I'm getting. This is what I'm getting. And then you get, get it. And you're like, I knew what I was getting. So I, I don't know if it's that or not. Like that next knife, I am not a fan myself. Uh, but then again, you know, I, if I saw this, if I would have saw this was coming before I saw this at Blade Show, I probably would have been like, what the hell? I mean, it seems like a very impractical knife, which it is. This is not a practical knife. This thing is as heavy as my Bastion Braza, which I don't carry it, and it's my favorite knife ever. But, dude, it's so fun. And it's such a conversation piece. It's it's a going out kind of night. Like if you were going to just hang out with some buddies, hang out with some friends, be at a little house party or something, take this bad boy with you and use whatever excuse you can to use it. Just be like, oh, there's a string on your shirt. Let me let me let me get that right here. Just because. Because Dude, it's it gets I mean it gets addicting, man. I just sit here, I just play with it. And it's starting to get more and more. Yes, I do still have the handguard I got from Tacta. It's actually on my, uh... wait, the little, the ones we just got or the one we got like a year ago? Wait, Kathy, what are you talking about? Who's real McCoy? Every every live show, somebody asked me, if you could pick only one box, what would it be? Oh. This month? Golly. Hunt Vault or Bear on Blade? Uh, I give you one for both. One for Hunters, one for the tactical people. Uh Although tack packs are close second to barrel blade because I really like that box, but I love that knife and barrel blade. It's kind of it's kind of a tough choice between those two. Uh, Hunt Vault sent some really cool stuff. Uh, did y'all see it? Yeah, I posted that one, didn't I? The August one with the wait, hold up. I think I posted that one. There you go. Yeah, the Bino box. Yeah, that was that was a good one. Um, I really kind of like the bang. Hunter's Hall, though. I got Hunter's Hall yesterday. I got the video. 
I gotta edit. As soon as I get it edited, I think I might have it edited tonight. I don't know. Uh, but the Hunter's Hall was pretty good. I mean, the hunt, yeah, Hunter's Hall was pretty good. I, mm, I don't know. Uh, quick note: the binoculars that I got in Humboldt are actually different from the ones that I got last year. The ones I got last year are eight by forty-two. The ones this year are ten by forty-two. So they are different. I don't know. I, I'm I'm still not going to keep the ten by forty-two because everything I kind of read is that the eight by forty-two gives you, I think, a wider spectrum. So I think I'm going to keep those. Oh, MTV Pops. Thanks, MTV Pops. Why are you coming in the, on the download? Like, nobody knows who the hell you are. Like, I wanna, I'm going to trick people. Why are you going to be like that? I'm here, I'm here talking to you. Like, I'm like, damn, I got a new subscriber. I'm going like, to pay heavy attention to them. If it was just real McCoy, I'm just going to be like. Oh. All right, Jason, appreciate you, man. Thanks for coming by, hanging out for a little bit. Appreciate it. I don't blame you. I'm going to tell you, man, I for the money, let me say something. Hold on. I got a minute. I got something. All right, here is my Vortex lineup minus my rangefinder. Um, rangefinder's in the bag somewhere. I'll just sit there for now. Now, here you go. My 8x42s here, I love them. I, I really do. Um, when you look through them, it's almost like you're in VR. I mean, you look at it and you don't see, if you get it set to the right spot, I mean, just you see nothing but, you know, wall, wall woods. So I really like those. And I think that's what they meant by your field of view is better. So these, they're amazing in low light. All vortex are amazing in low light. This is probably my favorite pair of a knife. I I would have went the rest of my life with these right here if I wouldn't have got these in my box. Okay, these little Diamondback Vortex uh, 10 by 28s, <sighs> dude, they are so small that like whenever you wear them on like your shoulder harness, I mean they're like there's no bulk anything they're so light and they are crystal freaking clear man these I, i'm telling you if unless you're just looking for something to get like big views you know long distance kind of stuff which is what i like these for there's really and truly there's two there i carry all of this with me because if I sit in certain stands at my lease, I need to be able to see further. If you know, then there's stands in my lease that these are perfectly fine and these are so convenient and small that I this is all you would ever need for anything under 100 yards. If you've got a 250 to 300 yard shot or something like that, you're going to want these. But this, 
I'm telling you, if you don't have to, if you don't have that kind of stuff, if you're a mainly a bow hunter, these are the ones, or you can go to these. Uh, these are the little solos. Okay. You got your more advanced fancy solo, and then you got your little like $50 solo here. Um, very, very, when you're bow hunting, you can just sit here, you can just, uh, just look around. You don't have to do this. So it's just, you find a little clip somewhere. This one don't have a clip. This one does, but it's really big. So, you know, it's just bigger. But I bought this one. I got this one in a box. <laughs> then I got this one in a box. I got I get all the big stuff in boxes, and then I buy all the little stuff because that's what I really pretty much need. Uh, but yeah, I I love Vortex, and whenever you're talking about clarity and quality and unquestioned uh, warranty, they're almost as good as Badlands as far as the warranty go. Uh, this one was like a hundred, like 50, like right around 50 bucks, this little 10 by 25. And then this one here was a 10 by 36. I want to say it came in, uh, in a box. I forget how much the value on it was. I want to say it was right around a hundred, a hundred, 120. Darren Williams, what's up, buddy? Yeah, Diamondbacks are awesome. Crossfires are kind of a uh, budget friendly. <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> now I know who MTV Pops is. It's funnier. What'd she say? Oh, she said hose. I thought she's I thought that said does. Most does are better. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I know what she did. I'm supposed to say does. Uh California has non-toxic. What are they? Ugh. I'm sorry for you living in California. That sucks. It's a great place, but it's going to the damn to the fallen ocean. See, what is better, the one or two eye? Ah, uh, depends. If you're, um, the monoculars are good for like bow hunting if you have the right rig set up kind of thing for them. Uh, you know, I got the little clip rings there. If you can find a way to almost you know those little tag puller things like people have IDs that they're working, they pull it out and it's on the little string. You can get one and they have heavy duty ones. I've seen them. They were actually in a box. I forget. I think they were in Hunter's Hall. Uh, they put it in the Western Big Game Box. Dickheads. Uh, <laughs> out West Chris got it. It made me mad. I was like, I want that. But it's got that little zip, zip. And if you have it, then whenever you're sitting there and you got your bow in your hand, you can kind of move up, look around when you see them coming in, way back there in the back, and then you can just kind of drop it back down, let it hook, let it hold itself there. Uh, you can't use it on the little work tag ones because they're not strong enough. But this thing, even though it's pretty light, it's still heavier than a name tag or whatever. Uh, I like that for really up close bow hunting. But if you're going to do some hunting where they're coming in from a different direction and you're just kind of hoping to catch them on the pass as they're coming through and you're, you know they're coming from this direction, you can use the binoculars would be a good one because the binoculars are better all the way around. You can see better everything. 
but the monocular, it's more for uh, concealment. Uh, Jacob Sayers won there, Jamie. Uh, quick question. What's up with the one video? The video that I did making fun of people always telling me I talk too much. I was like, I could do a video like this. God, that was horrible. I hated making that video. Uh, gotta run. See you, Lincoln. Let me go after paper straws. They're gonna go after everything. If it's anything you like, they're gonna go after it. Anybody looking to buy Vortex, I'm going to tell you a little secret. This is this is some of the bonus stuff you get from being subscribers to the video ad channel. Um, don't buy it from the website. Don't buy it from the store. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Buy it online because it's like half price. It really is. It's half price. And that just like I said, you know, those new binoculars they just sent, $200 value MSRP, but $115 on Amazon. It's, I, I, all my scopes are Vortex and I've bought every one of them from Amazon or eBay. And I get them, you know, they're like $15 to $1,800 scopes and for like seven. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's ridiculous the markup they have on them, but you can get them online so much cheaper. You should never buy any scoops on, at a store. It's the worst thing you can do. You're just really, you're paying double <laughs> when you can just buy it online. Uh, I know I'm killing, you know, brick and mortar, or whatever, but it, it, at that point, it just becomes irresponsible to go pay double just because. But, uh, yeah, you uh, you go there. It doesn't even matter if it comes in broken. So what? Vortex has a lifetime warranty. You send it to them, they'll fix it or send you a new one. Uh, and as long as you read the reviews of the seller, then you're good. Just do your due diligence. Make sure you pick the right seller. There's usually ten of them selling them for that price. So just pick the most trusted one. Yeah, I didn't buy I didn't buy the best. I saw that thing. I bought some bad line stuff the other day. They sent me a thing. They invited me to do a uh, a review for them, like a review their stuff on the internet kind of thing. And they said, we'll give you a discount at the end. I didn't know how much it was. But it ended up being 40% off. And I was like, I'm the wrong guy to get 40% off. <laughs> So I went and bought a few things. Uh, that, that, that'd be yeah, some stuff that I wanted. No, I have live chat. I'm just not reading at the same time I talk. I like to look at you guys in the eyes. I like to let y'all know. That I'm focused. This is me talking to you individually, all 37 of you at the same time. <laughs> Eye contact right here, me and you. It's just us, just me and you. Uh, 
So I, I go back and forth from the things. I feel like I need to look at you in the eyes. I feel like it's disrespectful to read over here, read comments while I'm telling you what I think about things. It just, it seems weird. <laughs> My eyes are up here. Listen, Chris, if you weren't so damn sexy. All right. Uh, let's see. That's pretty good. <laughs> Who is he talking about? Oh, I ain't broke. Yeah. <laughs> Val, a.k.a. Real McCoy, a.k.a. MTV Pops. She's sketchy. Hey, Frank. Frank Nolan back. Frank Frank is the one person that hates to hear me talk more than anybody in the world. Uh, he wants me to get my point across and get the hell out. <laughs> he just comes in and like, okay, I'm out. <laughs> just making sure you're still freaking talking. Uh, no, I just got that one, uh, the Nolly box from Sportsman's Box. I just wanted to try it out, just kind of see what it was kind of thing. And I asked him and he said, he said, no, he said, I'll send it to you. I was like, all right. Oh, I know you do. Um, so I'm not getting that. I... Frank, how long have you been watching me? Has it changed? It ain't gonna change either, buddy. I'm gonna keep talking. <laughs> See you, Frank. Uh, I keep forgetting I got his name. I got his save right here. Jacob Sayers. Won the battle box. <laughs> Making side money. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Oh, pops. I get it. You're doing like the little figurine pops. Is what broken? Do you split the pelvic when you feel dress? Your deer. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. You're asking me questions that I don't know the technical names for things because Jay does the majority of the cleaning. I am more of the holder. Uh, he did make me clean my first deer by myself uh, last year. He was just like, you kill it. you're cleaning it. <laughs> Cause I, I killed it. He was just like, you're cleaning this one. Cause he was tired of him having to do the cleaning all the time, but he's done it his whole life. I mean, given, I, and I can't, I can do it now. It's just, I don't know, like, like you're talking about the pelvic. I'm like, yes, yeah, of course I do. We got, we got a sawzall. All right, we're getting on up here. We've just gone through Sportsman's Box. Sportsman's Box.
I like them. I, they're my first one ever. Uh, I'm still paying for them. Uh, you know, I don't know if I'm going to renew. I do the whole year with them typically because I sign up during the Christmas sales <laughs> to where I get like 20% off the whole year. I don't know if I'm going to sign up again. I don't know. They've been they've been more good than bad this year. I will I will tell I will tell you that. Uh, and even when they're bad, they're not just they're not like excruciatingly bad like they were the year before, but they're still kind of like uh, I don't know how committed they are to putting out top notch product. It seems like I've gotten a crap ton of Allen stuff this year from them, and I don't like it. I, if I want Allen stuff, I'll go to Walmart and buy myself. Um, Bowhunter Boss Club. I, I like Bowhunter Boss Club. You're getting your value. Um, I still pay for the, the full draw box, and then I also pay for the uh, VIP membership. So – I, I pay for that one. He gives me my monthly box for free. So I still pay for a lot. Of, <laughs> I, would, I wish you would give me the other one for free. That'd be nice. Uh, that would mean that'd mean a lot. But it's the $150 box. He gives me the $40 box for free. Uh, but I love Jason, man. He's awesome. And um, I appreciate everything. He does all kinds of shit for me. Uh, he really... He, he takes care of me. Like He'll send me random stuff, bought me a whole dozen arrows because he got tired of me bitching about not being able to fit, my, <laughs> fit his broadheads in my arrows. Um, so I love Jason. He's a great guy. I love the family atmosphere that he puts around his box. So that's, that's very nice, and I love our group hunts. That's the highlight of my year, really. <laughs> by Val, MTV Pops, Real McCoy, whatever the hell you're going to show up with last, next time. Thanks for coming. I appreciate you coming by. Though. I really do. I don't care who you come as, as long as you come. That sounded dirty. Um, <laughs> All right. Let's see. Yeah, I know we're doing good. All right, and Hunter's Hall. Hunter's Hall is – I'm so proud of Hunter's Hall. I really, really am, man. I am so proud of Hunter's Hall. If you go back and watch my first Hunter's Hall video, some of you were here, some of you weren't. Uh, it was so bad. I'm talking about, like, you think that I ripped still to real? Go watch the Hunter's Hall video. Holy crap. I I still feel bad about it, but I feel like I'm completely on point with it. I still feel bad how bad it was. And when Oh Boy sent me a message basically trying to talk about what he saw or why I was wrong, I guess. And I went back and did another review reaffirming that it was bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Uh, I've only got a couple more minutes, guys. Uh, I figured I definitely won't go over two hours, I don't think. We're at 144. All right. Um, I am so proud of Hunter's Hall and the turnaround that he has done. I mean, from that first box – that I received. I don't even, I don't, I don't think it was the first box, but the first box that I received from him to now when I am, I'm excited whenever I get the email saying my box is on the way because I know it's good stuff, man. I am, I am truly, truly impressed with Hunter's Hall. Uh, do I think it's the biggest and the best? No, but it's, Good stuff. Steady. Keeps it 
I mean, he keeps you, he keeps you happy. And that's all that you got to do. You ain't got to blow people away all the time. You just got to keep them happy. That's it. If people get it and they're like, heck yeah, I'm, I'm good with this. I'm good with this. You ain't going to be like, damn, I can't believe I got this in this box. Those are nice moments, but those ain't what keeps your business going as far as boxes go, the way I look at it. Those aren't the ones that are the good ones. You, you want that person that's just like, dude, I really like this box. I really like it. I really like it. Just like I'm telling you, it's just so good. It's always just, it's a steady constant. You know you're getting your value. You know it's getting useful stuff. And I mean, I, I honestly don't think that there's been any cash grab months with him this year. And I'm really, really loving that. I mean, that's awesome. It means that he's doing his business the right way. And I, I, I'm, I'm truly amazed by Hunter's Hall. I am. Uh, and he, I think I said in the last live video, he was giving Hunt Vault a run for the money as far as my favorite box. You know, as far as hunting. My hunting boxes, he was, he's right there. I mean, he's really close to Hunt Vault. Uh, last but not least, and my topics on the wall is Hunt Vault. Hunt Vault, again, they they do have a couple months where it's just kind of like, eh, not not great. But you're getting your value. That's the dead on constant. You get your value, but you're not always getting that just completely good, useful stuff like you get in Hunt Vault or Hunter's Hall. Now, Hunt Vault is always late. Except for this month. And I don't know if that's because it was my birthday or what, but I got my I got my August box in August. I'm I'm happy. You know, I I am impressed with that aspect of it. Hopefully they did that once before. They caught up. I was like, they're officially caught up. And then they went right back to being late. <laughs> so that's my problem with Humble is the shipping issues. And once those are figured out, hopefully, you know, it'll be all good. But to me, I know they're going to come through. I know people that don't, that haven't been with them for a long time. Like if you're just signing up and then all of a sudden your box is late and then your box is late again and again, you're thinking, what am I doing? Well, they've been doing it for three years or four years that I've been with them like three and a half years. I, they come through, they have made a lot of changes. They've taken on a new ownership part of their business. They moved from up North, like Pennsylvania down to Tennessee. They moved everything down there. They're doing everything. They're trying to get more. They grew really fast and it became where they couldn't have a family run. They started having to hire people to work it a little bit because they couldn't do it all by themselves. So that's where I think Hunt Vault's gonna be okay. If you're watching this and you are mad about the shipping, I understand that. But just know that Hunt Vault and everything that I know about them, and I've talked a lot with Jackie over there and they will they will bend over backwards if you can get them on the phone. Now, I understand that, too. A lot of people are like, oh, I contact their people all the time. I understand that. It takes time to get through because, again, lots of people messaging you over one family member they had running the whole damn thing. So, you know, give it a little patience. I think it'll be okay. They are growing way faster than they anticipated. Uh, no, this is my only issue. Yeah. Huh. Everybody keeps asking. Uh, the winner of the box was, I'm gonna memorize his name, Jacob Sayers. Jacob Sayers. 
Okay, I'm late. Good night, Blue Raptor. Night all. All right. Frank came in and left the game. All right. That's all I got for you. So I'm going to give y'all a couple minutes of question and answer. What you got? They do send a lot of doubles, but what you get, what you're seeing doubles of a lot is probably, is it me getting doubles? Because I'm not, you shouldn't judge by me. Um, they're going to send. And I've said this, and I'll say this about all subscription boxes. You can sit there and subscribe and just stay the course. But if you want to be completely happy, you should do a subscription box for 12 months and no longer because every year they're going to reuse a lot of the previous year stuff. It may not be the exact name brand. It may not, you know, be the exact item, but it's going to be something that does the same thing or whatever, vice versa. It's 12 months is the longest you should stay with a subscription box. In my opinion. Um, after that, you're going to get the same stuff over and over again. I want to watch the new Godzilla movie. I'm waiting on it for, I'm waiting on the red box. Super excited. I didn't get to go to the movie theater. Darren, you don't, do you hunt? Or is that DW Strange? I always get Darren Williams and DW Strange con connected. Matthew Risden, I did not like it, actually. But I am reserving the right to get it in my hands and feel it and check it out. I, I am not a fan of what I saw in the, in the, in the league. I look at BarkBox. I've, I've had BarkBox before. Uh, there was like a couple different dog boxes when I first started getting boxes and I was getting that box before I started making reviews. I think it is very gimmicky. I think it is like I said, I reserve the right to change my mind whenever it comes in. I get it in my hands and I feel the quality and what have you. Uh, I don't know. that. What was that dang uh, SOG baton thing they sent out? I am about the same feeling on those two. I sold that thing to Jay. Jay wanted it. He likes it. I, I did not like it. Um, that's where I'm kind of thinking I'm going to fall on it. But – it may be a cool little thing like, you know, you get a lot of those little eating utensil things in these boxes, you know, here and there, survival boxes, what have you. I think since it's got the fork aspect and the knife, that combined with the reversibility of it and all of that stuff, I reserve the right to give you a different review whenever I get it. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh Yeah, Wit. See, he's just—he's not feeling well, man. So you got something for me? No, Frank. Go back to the game. No, Craig. And I'm gonna take that big bone. I'm gonna give it to Jay's dog, Remy. Whenever I go out there. Oh, yes, what you just said. <laughs> I just haven't been, I haven't gone to Jay's house in a couple of weeks. I, I went there and I picked him up and then we left before daylight last week, but that was it. I haven't been there since we talked about me doing that, but got to go make more pizza. Daddy O Pizza Man. I want some pizza. Yeah. 
To each his own, there, good old boy. I, I wasn't a fan of the time. 50 50 on a knife fork. Yeah. It's a unique knife. I probably never used. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll be looking forward to hearing your opinions on that review. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to my opinion on that one, too. <laughs> I mean, when it, if you think about it, the gearhead really saved the box for this box right here that we gave away tonight. Uh, it was a tough sell on this last battle box. Like I told y'all, those of you that were here, it's one of those things, you're not gonna use it right away. You may never use it, but is it valuable? Yes. It is definitely not a sparkly, shiny thing to, have to get. And that's going to be a tough one. And if they if they send two of those back to back, I don't know. It could be hard. That, that could be a real hard sell. Uh, I'm really looking for, like, I mean, they need a good name brand flipper knife i mean they haven't sent out one of those in a while we've got a lot of fixed blades and stuff uh you know not that they weren't good but i think we need some i think we need some spider codes in our lives i think that there's some freaking awesome little budget friendly knives that they could throw into the, the pro levels or advanced levels uh, I would love to see the Kaiser Dukes in one of these boxes just as like a lower level budget friendly knife. I love that knife. And I think it's a great little EDC kind of just nice quality budget friendly knife. Um, uh, there's just, there's some, there's some good knives out there, man. There's some good knives that they would look really good in some of these boxes and we're getting weirdo stuff and you know i i can i can tell you what i think about it but at the same time you know it's just one of those things it's it's not as harsh on me because i'm giving these boxes away i'm not paying for them i can tell you what i honestly think about them but I, I probably won't be as upset as some of you might be if you pay for it. So it's that's where it gets really, really weird for me. I try and I give you my honest opinion on it, but at the same time, I'm not going to be as mad as y'all might be. I can be mad for you, but it still won't be as mad as you'll be if, if, it's, if it's really as questionable as it looks. If anything, I think that that thing should have been like a advanced level item. I don't know what they were thinking. Nice. I don't, I can't afford no ZT knife. Yeah, Carl, you're like my dad. He likes those old timers. I have flown a drone on my lease. I... My drone that I have is a Phantom 3, and it's the last time I flew it was a few years ago, and it crashed and burned and broke the camera and everything else. I spent a bunch of money to buy a replacement camera and everything, and I put it all on it and have not flown it since. So uh, it's been weird. The times that I feel like I want to go fly it, it's like super windy or the weather's bad. So. Oh yeah, 
especially if this little trade war with China keeps going the way it's going, it's going to affect a lot of stuff, not just boxes. Star Wars drones are little... I bought the Star Wars drones for display purposes. They're not for me to go fly. <laughs> Honestly, God, they're simply for... And I only bought them, and I've kept them in the box. They've been sitting in there since I got them. I just set them... I put them back in the boxes, and I set them back. I was going to go out and fly them, but they're not the kind of drones that have their own stabilization. Like they don't stabilize themselves. You have to manually stabilize them. And I'm not really good at that. Mainly because I got a screw in this thumb and I've broken this thumb about four times. So it, it don't, I'm not very good with those things, but they are meant for one day whenever I have a big man cave warehouse. That's where they will belong. The box was the best part. <laughs> box was pretty awesome. I did not fly any outside. I tried flying on the inside. Yeah, I, I've been thinking about it. But right now, I'm working on the 360 camera and my... My GoPros do pretty much everything for me. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. We're at 202 coming up. So uh, that's it. That's all I got for you. Uh, thank you all so much for coming by. And uh, uh, that's nice knife to purchase. I will tell you. These are my favorite two right now. EDC, you got the uh, Polestar here, I believe it's called, from Spyderco. It's about a $100 knife. Uh, this right here, you can get these for about $79 right now. I just saw the other day. This is the CRKT Slacker, Ken Onion. It's a little bit dirty. Sorry about that. <laughs> the Ken Onion CRKT Slacker. I like this one. Um Thin profile, they got the breakdown to where you can take it apart to clean it, what have you. This spider code Polestar, Polestar is just, I, I freaking love this knife. And I'm looking for something along the same lines. If y'all seen my video the other day, I'm looking for the red handle kind of Delica or something like that. But they're all special editions, like made for other places, and those places are sold out. So. Boom. All right. I say I'd want a deer bone handle knife, but I probably would never carry it. If I made one myself, maybe. All right, man. That's it. Kathy, good seeing you. Uh, Cammy, again, thank you. Uh, get with me. What did you need? Buy no case. Get with me. We'll see what we can do. Uh, okay. um, blade plate? No, I mean, maybe a little, just like a hair. I mean, but EDC, damn, that boy just stuck out pretty good already. <laughs> I mean, I I love it, but I mean, I just banged on it. It's still perfectly centered. Right there. I mean, it's 
It's a damn good knife. It's Ken Onion, man. I mean, it might have a little, I mean, like, I barely felt any little, like, pop, or I hate to call it a pop because it was just, like, I mean, it, it wasn't nothing noticeable. I would have never guessed. I would have never had any knowledge of that had you not said it, and I wouldn't have played with it like that. Frank's back. I'm gone. See y'all later. I'm out.